Good evening, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us. Less than two months after a woman died while in custody of the Graham County Sheriff, her family is threatening a lawsuit of $5 million. In December, Jordan Sims died after falling out of a patrol vehicle while being taken to a hospital in Safford. Team 12's Michael Doudna talked with Sims' mother today and joins us here in Studio 12A. And Michael, what's she saying? Well, Caribbean and Mark, Deborah Sanchez says her daughter Jordan's death is all part of a cover-up. She claims her daughter was raped before her death and that the Graham County Sheriff's deputies failed to protect her. Do I believe that they're trying to cover it up? Yeah. Yes. Deborah Sanchez demanding answers after her daughter's death. And give me the damn truth because my daughter deserves it. According to investigators from both Safford Police and the Graham County Sheriff, Deborah's daughter Jordan was picked up by the Safford Police on December 21st for shoplifting and a drug-related warrant. Two days later, Jordan would call her mother. Her first words are, Mommy, I need you to listen. Jordan told her mother that a Safford police officer raped her. I was telling the truth. When you speak to somebody that has been violated, trust me, broken is all in their voice. Three days later, while being transported to the hospital for test for evidence of a sexual assault, Sheriff's investigators say Jordan somehow removed her handcuffs, ankle restraints, and belly chain before she was able to jump out of the rear driver's side door of a patrol vehicle that happened to not be locked. They silenced my daughter. They were going to make sure that she couldn't go forward. But Sheriff's investigators say she died from injuries suffered from jumping out of a moving SUV on her own. It's a crock of crap. They also say she jumped out just two blocks from the hospital. And is this very coincidental or ironic that once she alleged being raped, then she was killed? Phoenix attorney Benjamin Taylor is representing the family. The bottom line here is Graham County's is their responsibility to have Jordan Sims safe, secure in the vehicle. He says the notice of claim will carry with it $5 million in damages. But both the family and the lawyers say it's about making sure the police are held responsible and to feel that Jordan did not die in vain. Once we get to justice and make change within the community, then I can grieve. And shortly before the show, we just received Jordan Sims toxicology report. It's actually right here in my hands. It says the cause of death is trauma to her head and body, but could not conclude the manner or how she got those injuries. It also says there were no drugs in her, in her system. Now, we did reach out to the Graham County Sheriff's Office for comment, but they did not respond. Also, the Department of Public Safety says they are still investigating everything that led to Jordan's death. Now, we'll send it back over to you guys.